I thought Alan today was just amazing. He exceeded my high expectations. I thought Alan is one of the best speakers that I have ever seen. If you want to be a high achiever, if you want to raise your game, then you have to choose to take every single thing that's thrown at you and use it in a way that serves you and moves you forward. The power of story. And that morning, Kobe taught me a pivotal and for me a life-changing lesson. And that's just because something is basic, it doesn't mean that it's easy. He takes those lessons, wraps them in the story of what happened, and applies them to everyday life. He shows you how powerful just the basics can be. Kobe Bryant, the best player in the world, said his secret is that he never gets bored with the basics. He has an unbelievable ability to blend stories and then things that impact both business and personal at the same time. My favorite part of the presentation is the concept of the next play. You just turned the ball over, it's okay, next play. You just missed a wide open layup, it's okay, next play. I know, I know, the referee missed a call. It happens occasionally, next play. Why would a basketball coach want their players to focus on the next play? It's the only one they can do anything about. Not being worried about what's happening three, four, or five steps down the road, but focusing on what is going on in your life or in your situation, what you're working on right now. We're looking so far into the future that we forget to live in the present moment and, and really have that mindfulness and that drive for right now. It was right on the money, very energetic, very focused, right to the point. My favorite part of the presentation was definitely the Steve Nash story and how he led the NBA not only in assists but also in touches and I mean physical touches. High fives, fist bumps, and pats on the butt. And the way that he was able to tie that into our business and our lives and the way that we encourage our friends, encourage our coworkers, not by patting them on the butt, but by giving them more digital, virtual reinforcement and how that translates into better performance. He definitely is motivating and inspiring. Are you making the time to do the things that you know you need to do to fill your own bucket. Notice I said making. You'll never find the time for anything. Not when you work as much as you work and you have your families and you have all of your other commitments. You will never find the time for anything. You have to make the time to fill your own bucket. That's something that I never really thought about before. I never really thought about, okay, I need to prepare myself before I walk into my business. It's like he's just talking to you. And I loved what he had to say about understanding your role, embracing your role. I think he's truly one of the best speakers I have ever seen, and I have seen a lot of speakers.